According to a new report from Rolling Stone, Donald Trump is apparently privately pushing the idea that the crazed Trump supporter who attacked the FBI in Ohio last week and ended up getting himself killed in the process was somehow a false flag. Now publicly, of course, Donald Trump has been very tight lipped about this particular individual. However, Rolling Stone is reporting that he is suggesting to the people behind the scenes that maybe this was in fact a liberal plant. Somebody that went out there to try to make Donald Trump supporters look bad, you know, because it's not like Trump supporters would ever do anything horrendous that would result in people getting killed. Right? I mean, there, there's literally no historical precedent for Trump supporters acting out of the ordinary after he stokes the fa uh, flames of fear and hatred, right? Well, see, that is exactly, by the way, what Donald Trump is attempting to do. Of course, assuming that this report is accurate and he is suggesting these kinds of things behind the scenes. However, it doesn't matter because even if Donald Trump isn't saying this, suppose Rolling Stone sources are lying to them. What we do know is that there are plenty of online message boards with Donald Trump, uh, uh, subreddits. You see the posts on truth social, you see them on Twitter conservatives, MAGA freaks suggesting that this was a false flag operation. In order for that to be true, let's think about what that would mean. That would mean you'd have to find a liberal who was effectively, you know, willing to get themselves killed in order to make Donald Trump supporters look bad, paying the ultimate price for minimum gain. Now I'm sorry, but I just don't think that that is plausible in this country right now. Oh, we need to make Trump supporters look bad. So I'm going to go attack the FBI. I'm going to get killed in the process. We all know that because if you attack a building filled with highly trained armed individuals, you're, you're probably not going to walk away from that, but yeah, totally going to be worth it. Cause then Trump supporters are finally going to look bad, right? It's not like we've had an entire summer of January six hearings that made Trump supporters look bad. No, 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 no. This will be the one really get them. It makes no sense because it's a complete fabrication folks. There is nothing that the liberals, Democrats, progressives, whoever need to do to make Trump supporters look bad. Okay. They're doing a smash up job of that all by themselves. We don't need to help them. But of course, Donald Trump wants to paint it as such because he doesn't want to be associated with those nut jobs. The report also says that Donald Trump again, privately is saying that this individual was just crazy. And honestly, I'm not going to disagree with you on that point either. You'd have to be, wouldn't you? Or you'd have to be so devoted to the cult, which is what these people are members of, whether they want to admit it or not, it is a cult and they are willing to die for their dear leader, Donald Trump. They will do whatever it takes. And they have proven that time and time again over the last six years, you know, not just January 6th, going back before that, when you had crazed Trump supporters sending death threats to members of Congress, trying to drive a van filled with explosives and ammunitions to CNN to kill the fake news people that are the enemy of the people. That's who these people are. This is what they do. Liberals don't need to hatch conspiracy theories to make them look bad because all we have to do is look at who's out there and understand that these are dangerous, deranged individuals. No conspiracy theories needed. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.